Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever, that's right, first ever Mad Men Film Breakdown from www.madmensports.com. For those of you that might be a little confused, that are you know loyal followers, maybe stick through for just this next minute while I go on a quick little ramble. If you're brand new and you just want to see me talk about James Conner, just skip ahead about a minute. I apologize in advance. So, uh, you know, there was another media outlet, happened to have a very similar name to mine, Mad Men Sports. I was Mad Man Sports, as you know. And they reached out and they said, hey, we've got similar names. We like your content. I checked out their content, thought it was phenomenal. And they were like, hey, we would love it if you joined our crew and if we could kind of work together and expand our brands together. And I thought that was a fantastic idea. So I want to give a shout out to all of them and thank them. You should check out the website. I'll link it in the bio. I'll be linking it from now on. From now on, I'm a member of their crew. And that's where you'll be seeing these videos. Now, now that I got that over with, let's get to the real grunt of it. Let's talk about James Conner, who, you know, it's been a rough week for Steelers fans. You have Le'Veon Bell still not reporting, and you have Antonio Brown now. Rumors about that, uh, him possibly wanting out, not showing up to camp. I'm sure everything's fine there. People are going to overreact because they want to. Guys, the Steelers, I think they're going to be fine. And one reason is that the replacement for Le'Veon Bell, he might not be Le'Veon Bell. James Conner is not Le'Veon Bell. But there's a reason he's tallied up 250 total yards and three touchdowns so far in two games. And one of them was against a good Browns defense. Do not get me wrong. Just because they're the Browns, this is a talented defense that went into New Orleans and held the Saints to only 21. James Conner has all the traits you want in a running back. And I'm going to show you just from these two games we've already seen. So this first one right here, if you're going to be a talented running back, an elite running back even, you've got to be able to make that first defender miss sometimes. You're not always going to have a wide open hole. So just watch this handoff right here and watch the way he just slips off this initial defender with that nice little jump cut and he's able to pick up about 10 yards. Now let's look at that one more time right here. The way he just quickly changes direction and then again just kind of shoulders off this defender right there. Just kind of slightly changes his direction and then he's able to burst through the hole, get up to top speed very quickly, and lowers that shoulder forward to pick up that extra yard. And you're going to notice that on a lot of the runs, too. This is really a blue-collar, Pittsburgh-type runner. So speaking of him lowering that shoulder, let's just show you again why he's so useful in the goal line. Watch right here, the handoff, and then initial double tackle, triple tackle, that extra effort he ends up getting in there. Now, there is an issue with this play. You'll notice right here, he really should have just kind of followed his fullback and instead, he kind of takes that extra hesitation and ends up kind of running into 59 unnecessarily. Now, that's not an easy play, you know, but right here, kind of just cut outside instead. He's got a good grip on him, but because he's so strong, he's still able to spin through and get that touchdown. That is going to pay crucial dividends at the goal line, especially behind an offensive line that will usually create more opportunities for him. And now let's just talk about one more quick example, again, of that strength and his ability to make defenders miss and break tackles. And he'll be able to pick up those chunk plays, those eight, those seven. Let me tell you, these runs, it was not it was not like Barkley where he had one 80-yard run and then a bunch of two-yarders. He had consistent chunk plays against both of these defenses. And here's one right here. Notice one defender misses, second defender slips off, and then it takes two more defenders. And if you saw that from another angle, you'll saw he even kind of slipped forward for an extra yard. This is a powerful runner. And again, behind this line, it's going to always create, not always, but usually it will create, at the very least, a one- or two-yard gain. He'll be able to turn those into consistent three-, four-, five-yard gains because he's so strong. He always keeps those legs churning. And he's quick enough to kind of make defenders miss at the line of scrimmage as well. Now, as we go on, I'll show there's more traits. And it's only been two games. And he already feels like a very complete package. But he's not perfect. And if I had to find a weakness, it would be inconsistent vision. I noticed on some plays where he kind of left some yards on the field by running into that first defender instead of maybe being a little patient or running through a hole. But on this one right here, this really shows me a lot of problems. So watch this play. It's not just a nice cut, but I want you to pay attention to the timing with him and Marquise Pouncey when he makes that cut. Maybe on that first glance, it wasn't perfectly easy to notice, but you notice right here that he kind of cuts to the right and forces this defender to run right into Pouncey, allowing Pouncey to get that leverage, and then he slips off and he runs forward and he's able to gain about five extra yards, and that's a nice play right there. Good timing, clever timing, and again, as it shows that as the games go on, as the weeks go on, he'll start to figure this thing out more, start to figure out his timing, start to figure out how to follow his blocks, and that was one of the best instances of vision that I saw watching his first two games. And I know you might be thinking, but Brian, Le'Veon Bell is such a phenomenal receiving threat. James Conner can't possibly replicate that. And that's fair, and I don't think he'll be able to be quite the receiving threat Le'Veon Bell is. Very few running backs in the league are. 
maybe Todd Gurley and David Johnson, Alvin Kamara, and that's really where it ends. There's not many options like Bell, but Connor has shown some nice abilities in this, these first few games. He's had 10 receptions for about 100 yards, averaging about 10 yards per reception, and this is one of the reasons why. You'll see this one right here. He kind of slips out, catches the ball, and right here it looks like he's pretty much done. But watch this spin move, quickness, gets right back to full speed, makes that third defender miss, really makes the fourth defender have to bring him down. It requires four defenders to bring him down on this play, and that's just a beautiful spin move right there. And then he's able to, again, falls forward for those extra three, four yards. He catches the ball, he builds up that momentum quickly, and he's tough to bring down in the open field. Which is why, again, he might not be Le'Veon Bell, but he will absolutely continue to be a threat in the receiving game. Here's just one more where, again, he's going to make the reception, and you're going to see just a nasty stiff arm as well as he's able to gain some extra yards. You see that? He catches it out in the open field, makes him miss. All right, wouldn't call that nasty, but still pretty nice. Again, Right there, catches it. So tough to bring down the open field because he's quick. Swipes that defender right off. Second defender can't catch him. And then he keeps going. And one defender away from possibly bursting that off for a huge gain. And that's the thing. There were a few plays even, even that we've just seen, where he was just one defender from breaking it off for a huge gain. And if he continues to run like this, he's going to have that big gain soon. And then this play is just a reminder. Connor doesn't do anything special on this play. But you've seen all those traits he showed. This is just a reminder of the creativity of this coaching staff and the ability of this offensive line and these blocking tight ends where even if he wasn't this talented, he'd have some opportunities. So on this play, pay attention to Jesse James as he's going to pull in and pay attention to the pulling guard right here, Ramon Foster, as he just has himself, you know, sorry, plays lining up, balls handed off. Look at that open hole. That's easy. I'm pretty sure I could have run that in for a touchdown. Really cool play design where they get, you know, James in again here, take care of the safety. You get Foster, he follows perfectly, takes care of Garrett. Creative play, well-designed, well-read, and well-executed. And so, again, even if that wasn't James Conner and that was Fitzgerald Toussaint, he could have run that in for a touchdown. And that's just a reminder that you just saw all those great traits from Conner that I just showed you. And, again, you can say that's not Le'Veon Bell, and that's fair. He's not Le'Veon Bell. But behind this offensive line, he can easily be about 90% as effective as Le'Veon Bell. And that's really all the Steelers need. What they really need is for their defense to step it up. And it appears that maybe Patrick Mahomes is just going to shred everybody this season. So maybe their defense isn't as bad as we think. And we'll find out this Monday night against Tampa Bay. But keep an eye on Connor. The world's going to finally get to watch him you know, solely, and they'll get to see how talented he is. And they'll get to see why the Steelers are so reluctant to give Le'Veon Bell that long-term deal when they have this kid on the roster ready to take over. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Again, make sure you check out the new website, madmensports.com. You can still follow me on Twitter at madmenscouting now instead of madman. I'll have the handle there. Really appreciate you guys watching. Looking forward to pumping out plenty of content throughout the season for you. We'll see you next time.